monthly subscription costs. So there's going to be a few other things that we will go over in this video, and let's just dive right in. So we got the bulk emails for um, 50 bulk emails covered. You're also going to learn how to import and send contacts using Google Sheets, how to make a personal email template, and how to pay only $20 a year and send 400 emails every day. What's really great about this is that if you have current emails already, like a bunch of contacts in your Gmail, you can just send them out. You don't have to worry about having any spam laws preventing you from being able to do that. And that's normally the way everything is set up if you use traditional methods. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm not sure people have encountered that problem, but this will cut right through all of that. And um, you can just send emails from your your personal contacts or business cards or things like that because that's what I wanted to do and when I went other methods like just looking for um, subscription bulk email services a lot of them require that I have like a, a whole business registration number and there's a lot of yellow tape for me as a small business that I don't want to have to deal with because I'm just getting started and I'm really really trying to minimize my overhead and start making a profit first okay so Let's just dive right into the steps and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is just open up your web browser. You're going to want to go into your Gmail account. And if you don't have a Gmail account, you will need to create one. You're going to want to compose a message. So you just compose the message. I already have everything. So I'm not going to send it. I would just exit out after I created my subject and everything like that. I would not to yet. I would just exit out. And now I have all of these drafts here. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to want to go open up a new browser and go type in Google Sheets. All right. So I got Google Sheets up. It's just going to bring up a blank spreadsheet template. I would want to create a new blank spreadsheet so I just can blank like this once I did that um, it will bring up a blank spreadsheet and normally it won't have this here but I've already set it up email address full name example and merge status but what you're gonna want to do when you have the spreadsheet is you're actually gonna want to go to just going through the processes if I was you but uh, you go tools I mean add-ons get add-ons and just search for the apps you're gonna be looking for yet another no merge so then what you would do is you go through the process of installing it. So I'm going to just use this next one over just to show you how it would look if I was going through the process and click it. And I just click install. There's going to be a couple other screens that prompt me and it's all straightforward, counterintuitive. I just click next, 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 next. Um, what should happen is it will actually format your spreadsheet to look like this. It should say email address, full name, example, and merge status. So if it doesn't, that's okay. Don't worry about it. You just want to have a blank spreadsheet up and you would want to put email address, full name, example, and merge status. Once that is there, then you could go ahead. If you had a bunch of different email contacts, you could just copy and paste everything into here. So what I'm doing is just I'm doing a test email really quick. So I'm going to send it to my own Gmail account. What's going on? I would just put send test email or real email. So for my merge status, I don't do that. I don't set that. But it's actually pretty straightforward. So I've got everything set up now. I can have a bunch of emails in here. And then 
when I want to actually send the bulk emails, I'm going to go back up to yet another email, email merge through add-ons. And I'm just going to do start email merge. So now it's working. Should it take that long? So if I want, they have different plans, you know, um, that they, they give us that will allow, allow us to get extra emails. So those plans, if I was to click on it, it looks like this. And I'm just using the basic one right now. It's just 50 emails in a day and for one Gmail account. Um, but then you can step up if you want it, send 400 emails for $20 a year, right? Or for $40 a year, which is an amazing deal, 1,500 emails every day. That's amazing. That's super duper fantastic, right? Especially if you understand how much it costs to send emails. But uh, anyways, so I have that. I'm gonna go ahead and just complete sending this bulk email. And then um, what we're gonna do is actually look at the templates right now as well. So that might be something that if you guys are interested in, you'd wanna do, um, learn how to set up, then that's great because what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually link to an external website. We're gonna link images from a, an external website, our server. So that way we can make the emails look more professional. So when you go to templates, it's gonna have you a bunch of templates that are there already. And you can do browse for email templates as well. So if you click on browse, these templates are free. It's great. So here we go. We're inside of the templates. And let's say if I want to use this template, it looks good. So I would just click on it. Open it up in Gmail. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to go to my website or to the back end of it because I need to go get this image. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this to load. And um, what I would do now, I have my nice little email, you know, place this image if you guys were interested. So I have my images uploaded to my website at the back end and I'm using WordPress. So I would just go into my media library, media library, and I would just find the image that I want to upload, which I've already, I've actually already uploaded it to the server. But I mean, I just would find the image that I want to add to that page. I'm going to copy on the, the URL. Copy the URL. And then you just go to insert photo, but you got to go to the, the web address because you're, you know, you're uploading it from the internet and you just copy and paste it in there. And then you just click insert. So there you go. So now you can see this is the best way if you want to have more of a professional presentation. I'm not necessarily worried about all of that kind of stuff right now. I just I just wanted to make a quick template really quick for you guys so you can see how it works. And you know, maybe I might make a video that gets into advanced template editing. If you guys want, just put something in the comments to let me know. But um, let me just put work for fun oh that was an accident and then the thing to do for your drafts to put the subject so you know and I'm just gonna put last test draft and then I'm gonna exit and it already saved it you see that it says draft saved that quick okay so now I'm gonna come back over here my spreadsheets I've already I've already created the spreadsheet now but it's gonna ask me for the templates if you click the down arrow we see all these templates but the one that I just created the test it's not there yet so I'm gonna refresh it and last test draft there it is all right now send one email boom and there you go all emails
emails have been sent. I'm going to come back into my inbox over here because I want to find that email really quick to show you guys. And there you have it. So now I just sent it out. I had no problems whatsoever. I could have easily, if I wanted to, I could have easily went a step further when sending out these emails. I could have went a step further and I could have copied and pasted a bunch of different people's names into this spreadsheet right here and it would send them all in bulk at once. And what's really, really great is that once it gets sent, you actually have a tracking report so you can see if the email has been opened or not. And when someone clicks on it, you could actually see that as well. The response, bounce, unsubscribe. So those are some advanced features that you get for free, which I think is a really, 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 really great benefit. So in closing, I hope this video helped you guys a lot. Um, if you guys have any questions, just put a uh, mention them in the comments.